Hi there, welcome to highschoolmaths.co.uk Today we're going to be looking at how to solve one step equations So we're going to think of equations uh, first of all as a kind of pictorial representation um, The key thing really is an equation is a mathematical statement of something being equal to something else So if we look at this basic example here, we've taken the mathematical equation x plus 2 equals 5 on the right hand side here and we have represent we're representing this with uh, x being the bag which we don't know what that contains plus two sweets has got to equal five sweets altogether now if we think about this logically something add on two has got to equal five the th there's got to be three sweets contained within the bag for this to be an equal and balanced equation what we want to do is form a, form a process where we can develop equations from simple equations like this into more complex equations. So we're going to look at the process of finding what's in the bag. Now, equations, because they start off equal, have got to remain equal. So if we do something to one side of the equation, we've got to do the exact same thing to the other side. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to take these two sweets away. Really what we want is just a bag on its own. We want to know what's inside the bag. But if we've taken two sweets away from this side of the equation, then we've got to take away two sweets from, the, from this side as well. That tells us that the bag is then equal to three sweets. Okay, so the bag contains three sweets. How does that look mathematically? Well, if we've got this equation x plus two equals five, we want to know well, we want to know what the x term is. So we want to get the x term on its own. We've got a plus two here, so we're going to take two away from there, the left hand side of the equation, and we're going to take two away from the right hand side of the equation. So we're taking two away from a number on each side. If we do that, we've got a plus two and a minus two. If you get plus two and minus two, we get, that gives us zero, or cancels out. So we just have a blank space now here, so x on its own, on the left hand side. Five take away two on the right hand side to keep the equation balanced gives us three. So we've got x equals 3 as a solution. So let's have a look at how that works with a few more examples, this time without the diagrams. So we've got four examples here. Uh, so again, if you want to try them, you can just pause the video and have a go at them, copy them down, try the four questions, and then you can play the video again when you want to see the answers. So we're going to just jump in here with the first one. x plus 5 equals 10. So we're going to take away 5 from both sides. So taking away 5 from both of the number terms here. Uh, so taking away 5 from the left hand side, taking away 5 from the right hand side. That will give us the x term on, on its own, which is what we want. 10 take away 5 is 5, so we get x equals 5. Similar idea here, we want to get this x term on its own, so we're going to take away this 2 and take away this 2 uh, to keep the equation balanced. That gives us x, cancels out here, two, plus 2 and minus 2. So we get the blank space or the 0. 7 minus 2 is 5, so we get x equals 5 again. Now moving on to something a little bit different. Uh, we've got x minus 3 this time. So you notice the signs changed. We had positive 5 and positive 2 before. So we're always working on this idea that we want just x on its own. The opposite of a minus 3 is a plus 3. Because minus 3 plus 3 will give us that 0 that we want. So we just have the x on its own. So we're going to add 3 to both sides. So x equals minus 3 plus 3 is 0, that's a blank space. 4 add 3 is 7, so we've got x equals 7. And finally, x minus 5 equals 2, so we're going to add 5 to both sides, the opposite of minus 5 plus 5, and that's going to give us x equals 7. Okay, now there's various methods we can use to solve equations. We can use cover up methods for simple equations like this, but it's not really going to help you with the more complex equations you're going to come, come across later on. Really what you're looking for is a system, a process that works. Uh, so that's the first of the one-step equations. Let's have a look at what happens when you're multiplying. So similar kind of idea, we've got the first example, we've got a little pictorial representation of it. So we're saying 3x equals 12, where x is an unknown quantity. So we've got three bags equals 12 sweets. Um, we want to know how much is in each bag. And the way we would normally do that would be to split the sweets equally amongst the three bags. So we've got 12 sweets all together, we've got to split them equally amongst the three bags. So the word split means divide. So we're going to essentially divide by three. So we're going to take one bag and we're going to split them all up. So we're going to have the top bag and the bottom bag 
so each bag gets four switched and we can see that three times four would be 12 so that makes sense if there's four in each bag then that gives us the 12 sweets all together okay how does that look mathematically again well we're talking about splitting so we'll start with three bags we want to just find one bag so we're going to divide by three so we take the because it's three x we divide by three again this is just working on that idea that you're using opposites this means three times x so we're taking x and multiplying by three to undo that we're going to divide both sides by three that will give us one x or x equals four which is what we expected um so because three times four is twelve okay so let's have a look at how that works again with some examples so we've got three examples this time 2x equals 18 so we're going to take that 2x um, and we want to just find out what x is so essentially what you're saying is 2 times what is 18 and you probably can think about that one in your head probably can calculate that it's quite uh, straightforward but what we're looking to do is this strategy of balancing the equation out so we're going to divide both sides of the equation by 2 2x divided by 2 would be 1x 18 divided by 2 is 9, so we've got x equals 9. Next one here, we've got 5t equals 30, so we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. And that gives us t equals 6. And lastly, we've got 3d equals 12, so we're going to divide by 3 on both sides. And that gives us d equals if we double check these, when we put the number back into the original equation, it should balance out. So if we do 2 times, if x is 9, 2 times 9 is 18, so that should be equal to the answer on the right-hand side. 5 times 6 for the second one is 30, and that balances out. 3 times 4 is 12. Okay, and again, we're just developing this method so we can move on to 2-step, 3-step, and further equations later on in maths. Okay, so... Uh, for other maths videos and resources, please visit www.highschoolmaths.co.uk. If you like the video, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe, and please share this video. Thank thanks for watching. Goodbye.